and gentlemen, it's the Kitty here, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, on today's video, we're still looking at Frag Pro Shooter, but in particular on this video, we are looking at the new Fragger for the 1.7.8 version of the game, and his name is Takeshi. I hope that's how you pronounce it. That's how I'm going to pronounce it, I think, Takeshi. I don't know, I might mix it up later on and start saying it a different way because I get pronunciations wrong quite often on here. But before we talk about Takeshi, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification because that will be super awesome and you'll help me grow the channel. I'm trying to get the 20,000 subscribers. You guys can be part of that. Make sure that you, in particular, hit that subscribe button. So, let's talk about Takeshi. We've got him maxed out on this. This is a maxed out Takeshi video and all the other characters that are going to be in the deck because we're going to run a couple of games all the other characters in the deck are also maxed out and you'll you'll know they are some of the latest ones on the game so let's have a quick look at the skins i've got him in the neon here we can go through the skins we've got the egyptian skin we've got the cosmos skin which i do love the look of the cosmos skin that is really really uh fantastic <clears throat> you got the original We've got a rogue one, we've got a razor one which looks quite good, gold one, never a fan of gold, and then we're back to the neon again. So he's got 919 hit points at max level, 154 to 169 damage per second, his speed is 11.6 which is which is a, a good speed, it means he's not a slow one, he's, he's sort of like your, your normal range speed wise. Maybe slightly on the faster side. Speed while shooting 5.8 so he slows down a bit when he's shooting. And his weapons are self-crafted, I can't even say it, your, use your self-crafted gun to shoot balls of energy at your opponents. Seven ammo in there, a, quite a slow reload time, 2.3 seconds, a little bit of splash damage, a tiny bit of a headshot multiplier which is not that great. 4800 and weapon range is 35 so it's not a massive weapon, weapon range. Now his ultimate ability is called overclock. 14 second cooldown, it lasts for 6 seconds, it does some really heavy heavy damage. Trigger your robot's secret power source to activate overclock mods for a few seconds, giving you a health and speed boost while throwing punches at everyone facing you. So it's a nice melee ultimate ability, which is really cool. And what does it actually say about him? So obviously he's a heavy, he's common, which means that he's the easiest one to upgrade. If you've got the money and you've got some joker cards, then, you know, if he turns out to be, like, in the meta, then you'll be able to max, you know, not max, maybe not max him out, but you'll be able to get him upgraded really well. It says, Takeshi is a great genius. He could have been the youngest graduate from Bot Mama's Robot Robotic Academy, but he decided to join the Frag Championship instead. He desperately needs the first prize money to... So my, my eyesight is just terrible to cover his beloved mother's hospital fees. I don't what's up with his mum. Maybe we'll find out about that in a future update. Maybe his mum's going to turn up. That would be quite cool. Okay, so let's go in and do, so like I said, do a couple of games. And it's going to be training, so we're going to be going up against, we're going we're gonna to have a squad and be going up against a team that's got a Max out, Marco Polo, Archon, Stella, Duality, and Takeshi. Let's go in and let's do those games and see what it's all about with Takeshi. So we'll be coming up against the Max Takeshi. Let's go switch to Takeshi. He's looking cool. He's like a big, he's quite a big unit because obviously he's in this, this robotic thing. Let's see if we can, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. He's probably going to die now, though. <laughs> Come on, let's get Archon. Oh, yes, got Archon. Let me see if I can get around here and get this health before I get taken out. I wonder what damage he's going to do. Does he do extra damage? Oh, watch out. Does he do extra damage on that? No, he doesn't do any damage at all. He's just doing damage on the on Marco Polo, but no damage bit like Boss's Ultimate, when I was first playing as Boss, I did a Boss video and I was trying to use Boss's Ultimate on the bunkers. I thought, well, these henchmen are going to do some real powerful shots. He does some massive 
massive damage on the on the bunkers, but obviously you got to remember this is a max type. Oh, it's a max type one, but he's just been splatted by Archon, which means we've now got to wait the 22 seconds. Another advantage of being just a common card and not a legendary is, of course, he only takes 22 seconds to respawn and not 30 seconds, which is what you get with the legendary card. So he's back in the game. That time goes pretty quick. And we're back. And we're... Do we need to defend? It looks like we've got someone coming in. We've got a duality coming in. I'm going to try and punch her light sight. There we go. And a little bit of help from... Oh, punches on him as well. Shots in the back. Oh, yes. He's gone down. It's all over in game number one. I do like the ultimate ability. That is super fun. Imagine that. Imagine having... Having him against Ronin, Ronin with the swords, Takeshi with his punching fists, or against Lucha with this with his chainsaw. Let's go in for game number two and do some more amazing play. Maybe we'll put it on first person mode to see what that looks like. I think we will. I think that sounds like a really good plan. Thank you. I'm just gonna to talk to myself. Thank you, Simon, for having that idea of doing the first person mode. So here we go. So it looks normal with the gun. We're going to take out Stella quite nicely. And now we're going to go looking for someone that we can, whose, whose lights we can punch out. No, no, we don't want to go. We want to go, oh, here we go. Let's see if we can go against another, our nemesis. Oh, punch versus punch. Oh, it just goes into the third person. Big old fight, look at that. <laughs> and we lost. We lost, oh no. I got beaten by Takeshi. He had more health and he had some he had some friends helping out there. But that was a good old fight. That was a, a bit like the old days years ago, way before probably your time. There used to be these little robots like you used to get in a ring, in a plastic ring, and they used to you used to push pull the triggers and it used to make them punch against each other. And it was really fun. Whoa, what was that shot just come across? Okay, punching time. Let's see if I can get revenge. Oh, I got revenge there. Can't get Archon. I'm just going to go over the top. Base is, under attack. Base is under attack. Good shots on Archon there. Oh, hang on. Yes, it's all over. <laughs> that, is, that is it. I think he's super fun. I can't wait for him to be released. I should definitely be getting him from the event. Even if I have to spend the gems in doing so. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sure you did enjoy today's video. So what you have to do now is you have to smash that like button because that's super awesome. Shout out on my channel to Dominic M, Percy, Sarah Zulay, Lake, Southwest, and Wang Nunes, Davison. And if you want to help grow this channel to 20,000 subscribers and beyond, make sure you share today's video and maybe watch a video coming along shortly. Bye for now.